Yes, Shabir, um, you've been um, uh, presenting some uh, theories of some scholars, so let's say uh, that Acts was written around 115 AD. Now, that is, of course, by the, the, uh, the sort of next generation of the, the Jesus Seminar that, that put forth that theory, and the, the, the vast majority of scholars would put that much, would put Acts much earlier and so you're going with the most critical scholars you can find when it comes to the book of Acts. How do you think the same kinds of scholars, like the Jesus Seminar, if they were to go to the Quran and evaluate its contents on historical matters, do you think they'd accept them or do you think they would say this is obviously not historical? Well, I, I would start by saying that these are uh, skeptical and critical scholars, and they're skeptical of all faiths, not only of Christianity, but of Islam and of other religions as well. They tend to treat these uh, religions as uh, you know, made up by human beings, uh, for good reasons, perhaps. Uh, so I wouldn't expect them to say that the Quran is the word of God and the Quranic narrative is true. In any case, uh, I do not uh, regard the Quranic narrative as a, a, a historical description of what has happened in the past. We have to recall that our topic tonight is not, is the Quran the word of God? I didn't come out here tonight to convince Christians that they should follow the Quran and that they should take the Quran as being an accurate and true book of God. The point is this, the Quran is referring to what people already know. It's like if we, we say to you, um, you know, remember how you know, this Hulk guy was, uh, you know, when he was a human, he went around shopping for a stretchable underwear, and knowing obviously he'll need that when the time moment occurs. So uh, then somebody who doesn't know what we're talking about will think we're referring to actual persons, but you know that we're referring to a person in a movie or, or in a Marvel Comics uh, description. In a similar way, when the Quran is talking about Jesus in a particular way, it could be something based on history, it could be something based on the previous literature. It's calling the attention of the people to the story and drawing out the Quranic lessons. Now, did you catch that? Yeah. Did you just catch Shabir comparing stories in the Quran about people like Jesus and so on to, maybe it's just talking about, as you and I would talk about, um, the Hulk or something like that, Marvel heroes. Well, if that's the case, then when the Quran tells us that uh, the Jews thought they killed him, but they killed him not nor crucified him, maybe this is just a kind of comic book story that we're not supposed to take seriously. Enough! You are all of you beneath me. I am a god, you dull creature, and I will not be bullied by that. Puny God. <laughs>